गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन थैंक यू आनंद एंड थैंक यू एवरी वन हु आर होस्टिंग दिस इवेंट थैंक यू फॉर इन्वाइटिंग मी ऑलवेज वॉन्टेड सम ऑफ मोर कॉन्फ्रेंस इन अहमदाबाद सो वी गॉड इट सो वी हैव टू मेक श्योर दैट लोकल ई पी सी लोकल मैन्युफैक्चर सपोर्ट इट ऑल्सो सो होपफुली वील गेट मोर इवेंट्स लाइक दैट All right so this is not going to be a technical presentation so I'm going to keep it uh quick uh and hopefully under 10 minutes and let's uh, at the end of the session I want to give it to more question answers so again that's going to be the main thing for the whole conference that everybody gets heard or ask the questions uh what we're going to talk about in detail uh, apart from our company introduction is key trends rooftop solar key trends opportunities and challenges a uh, little bit overview about uh, harsha group harsha abacus solar we are part of harsha engineers we uh, we started in 72 uh, we are a engineering as well as automotive component manufacturer uh, and uh, we have about uh, two plants in india three plants in china one in romania uh i started i started the solar division group back in 2010 again it was 2008 but it was incep inception and the company formation 2010 uh we are into epc space from that year onward uh up till now we have built about more than 200 megawatt already commissioned uh and 200 are under construction so by march we will have about 400 megawatt uh, commission uh in india we only operate in india uh we have we have started our middle east division also where we already are uh under construction about 5 megawatt uh we have from beginning we we have been into solar rooftop space that we consider regardless of uh you know uh seasonality of a uh, ground mounted mega scale projects we believed in rooftop from beginning uh we have installed rooftop from beginning our first project was in 2010 uh so pretty much we are into all uh, epc epc space but we also started uh, our solar park division as well about 3 years ago so in epc we do utility scale uh can be private can be government mostly it is 50 50 for us uh rooftop space we are in uh we have done about 20 megawatts uh and under construction about another 10 megawatts and so we are into capex and opex both uh, i'll show you in the presentation where you know how the where we are going as a nation as well as a company and solar parks we have karnataka's first private solar park uh, back last year I started 2 years ago now there are many but what was was the beginning uh, for the solar park uh, space some of our customers some of our very good partners i'm just going to quickly go through uh, some of the references uh, i have so that we can go to discuss more in detail about the rooftop this is the largest tilted single axis tracker uh, in india one of our uh, gujarat government projects one of the highest generation plant uh, in solar park this is the recent project we just finished a few months ago another tracker space uh, so in terms of our capability we have done all kinds of tracker we have seasonal tilt fixed tilt we done more than 50 60 mega of trackers so we we feel very confident in about this uh, technology as well this is our karnataka project we have done some special project as well which i'll explain in the slide uh, later on but this is for again gscl this uh, this is a joint project by department of agriculture gscl uh, and uh, uh, consultant by germy and epc by us so this basically explores the farming concept underneath of solar power generation so this was r and d plan for them that's our first large scale project uh 
uh, as I said, we are into uh, in a big way in a rooftop space. Uh, mostly, we are targeting industrial uh, as well as commercial uh, customers. Recently, we have it into smaller size as well. Some of the large projects, three megawatt Maharashtra. Uh, this is one megawatt Delhi. This is this is an air Delhi airport project, two thousand kilowatt, two megawatts. Uh, the there is the middle 650 kilowatt is a very prestigious project for us uh, six, uh, you can see where it is this is the pipeline as of now so as i mentioned uh, uh, again we are doing single location 100 kilowatt to 100 megawatt uh, projects uh, what sets it up us, us apart is our capability and experience as well as innovation. Now we have worked with all kinds of uh, technology, be it thin film, poly, uh, you know, uh, dual surface uh, module, uh, being put, putting projects in a dump yard, on a dump yard, in a barren land, in a black cotton soil, using, you know, container solution, outdoor inverter, indoor inverter, string inverter for megawatt scale. We have pretty much done it all. Uh, and if I've just talked about Cracker, so Cracker, we have all kinds of experience. Uh, one of the largest uh, experience in terms of EPC for Cracker. And what I believe that how we survive, not only survive, how we grow is going to be based on innovation. Uh, so not just thinking about how to get cost lower based on just the negotiation, but based on uh, innovation and technology. Uh, India, we started solar industry with basic uh, knowledge about grid, basic knowledge about mechanical and structural for building a large, uh, you know, buildings. So we have to now innovate and customize solution for specifically for solar industry. So that's what we have done. That's what some of the other guys have also done. And hence we have got the cost down at the level where we are. One of the examples for this, uh, as I mentioned, this is a project which we are very proud of. Uh, this is a department agriculture project where uh, uh, the main aim was to sustain and grow farming underneath a solar uh, uh, you know, structure. Uh, so as you can see, these are a high, high elevation structure. They can tilt 85 degree. Uh, so that even the sowing can be done, tractors, all kinds of normal farming activity can be done. As you can see, there is a drip irrigation also going on. We are doing two or three uh, cycles of farming in it and with the great results. Another next, I was talking about innovation and uh, the next uh, project, what we are doing is next gen technology. So what are those? So those are 1500 volt systems. Uh, be it a string inverter, being a central inverter, some of the components, some of the manufacturers don't yet exist in India. So we, ha we are developing them along with very good partners because India has some of the most amazing uh, electrical system partners uh, in anywhere in the world. So we are developing LT systems with them. We are also putting up a designing a structure uh, uh, with robotic cleaning, uh, uh, our own uh, design. Then we are putting up next generation module which will be actually used in next two to five years. So we are testing them, localizing them, making sure that there are enough uh, con uh, you know, uh, experiments done so that when the technology moves, we are not left behind. All right, so this is where we stand in rooftop as India, about 1.4 gigawatt installed. Uh, again, CAPEX still accounts for majority, but the, that is not the highest growth. The highest growth is OPEX, as pretty much I think everybody knows here. Um, these are the leading states. Again, these do correspond to the in largest industrial states as well. Uh, largest being Tamil Nadu. Uh, we see Gujarat and Maharashtra being in top three. And uh, our policy is also helping us. So we w I personally want to see Gujarat as number one. But uh, uh, there's a huge, huge incentive benefit from Cheda, from other government agencies for rooftop, which I'll talk in uh, later quickly. This is where the target is. Now, 
is this aspirational or is this achievable that's for us policy makers com- it's a combination we have to decide where we want to go but this is set by government of india as you can see uh, how it is distributed uh, between segments and between capex and opex so industrial rooftop installation still counts as the largest uh then comes the residential commercial government i believe residential is going to be the second largest growth uh, after it will remain there and that's where it is not explored as much in terms of policy in terms of technology in terms of installation in terms of quality all aspects industrial is getting there faster some of the key growth drivers again these this is very key to our growth as a solar industry as a nation that and this gives us the constant steady stream of business opportunities unlike you know seasonalities of a large scale projects so some of the rise you know rising prices so if you look at we have industry here since 40 years since uh, since 2007 consistently the prices have gone up by 5% so this makes automatically makes sense for uh, solar some of the other factors enforcement enforcement of rpo government incentives now gujarat rooftop government incentive plays a huge role and uh, uh, you know i you know i want to give credit where it's due which is jera whether it's government of india they have made sure that we do grow as a rooftop state again the price everybody knows about the falling price so that is a huge driver if not the single largest driver that is a huge driver for solar not about not let's not talk about last 6 months but before that yes um again the great thing about rooftop is government of india has come up with an admitting policy so it's up to state to uh, incentivize and in, you know uh, execute it so these things are helping is going to be the key growth drivers uh and again innovation high efficiency solar modules uh in you know ac modules those are going to drive even larger uh, uh, further with the growth of the roof, rooftop as i said gujarat has been leading in rooftop space not pretty not much in a ground mounted utility scale but some of the initiatives taken by uh, jeda and patil sir is one of the pioneer in you know taking this further uh we have very good support proactive agencies uh huge incentive under you know net metering policy so no electricity duty exemption demand cut uh and uh, these are the gra- growth drivers for gujarat and gujarat is always going to lead of course there is room for improvement you know we are asking not just based on capacity kilowatt capacity but kilowatt hour capacity uh more of increasing the banking period and also promoting open access and allowing you know uh, opex business model which will drive also this is just to make sense of where potential lie uh you know a 2000 2 megawatt process industry consumer not necessarily uh three shifts not necessarily take 50% of solar it only takes 10% of solar under existing solar policy so main aim is to go higher on a solar uh, 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 demand huge huge opportunities in amda uh, in gujarat itself some of the processing industry we have steel textile which takes three shifts which takes Uh, does not necessarily give the picture of just connected load again huge potential as i mentioned uh, uh this is self explanatory again the if you talk about potential uh, this is uh, this some of the survey done by third party agency and some of the survey done by us also it just gives you the idea of what potential lie in rooftop how much we are utilizing if you just talk about delhi region forget ncr delhi region we have worth 25 mega our rooftop we can uh, more than that uh, uh and we are assuming the worst case scenario we have done even gandhinagar survey which is not even in the large one of the largest cities in india uh if you talk about that just talk about public government commercial household rooftop uh 
we just use 5% of the household space and 33% of the commercial space and government space and retail space, that alone itself gives a 14 megawatt. So if you take the acceptance rates higher, you, you can imagine the bigger cities, how much they can have the potential. again some of the you know challenges it's it's basically very uh, we have to talk about challenges there are challenges if we talk about policy no uniform banking or net metering policy or implementation no clarity on gst and other taxation structure uh, from epc side where we operate also there is a huge uh, discrepancies you know poor quality components, execution, compromise on design. Some of the roofs, what I mentioned, are not even worth putting any rooftop on. They are like 20 year old. Uh, so those are the challenges we have. But again, these are easily overcome, which we have also uh, exhibited and government has exhibited. Excellent. I think I'm, my already 10 minutes have passed. So uh, I'm going to end this presentation. Thank you very much. Thank you.